I did Google the alphabet because I cannot be trusted. I will forget a letter. Don't know which one, but I will. So I have it there. Hi, my name is Daniela and welcome back to my channel. Today, I plan on organizing all of the books on my bookshelf. And I think I will do this in a alphabetical order. And I'm thinking, I don't know, it makes sense to do it by author, doesn't it? Because by title doesn't really mean anything. To do it either by title or by author, but mm, let's do it by author. This is the bookshelf with all of my unread books. And here at the bottom, are some of my red so I keep like every time I read one I just move it to the bottom and kind of shift the bookshelf around um and it'll be much easier to have it organized because right now it's a bit of a mess I have another bookshelf but that one's mostly with red things or unread but that kind of have sense in there so we need to deal with this one today okay so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just take every single book out and put them in piles based on the authors and then just, I don't know, just put them back together. This is going to be so much work. Just take a pile and then I'll start with the table and then I'll move to the floor because the alphabet have to, has too many letters for me to fit all the books on my table. So do I go by the first or by the last name of the author? I feel like usually you go by the last name. So let's go by the last. Okay, so this is an R. What do I do if there's two authors on the book? Do I just go by the first author? Because that's the one I'm going to look for first. Yeah, so I'll put this in the L then. So far, the pile with the L is winning, which I don't know why, but apparently a lot of authors have names with that starts with L on them. So, see? See what I mean? The L pile. Also, the S pile is very close behind because a lot of books apparently have authors with S and L. What am I going to do for this book? What do I do for collections that have a lot of authors? Or for this Miriam Webster thesaurus? I guess I'll just put them at the end since they're like novelty books. I wouldn't call them that, but I'll just put them at the end of the pile. This one is Davidson for C. These two are T. Say you can I... So I've just finished the first row, and so far, the authors with the letter L have the winning, and then there's M, S, and H. So it's quite interesting to see just how things will work out, you know. I feel also like I have a little library, which is so exciting, and I love that. Next check. My love, inside, say to me, what's wrong? I will start putting them alphabetically because it's starting to be a lot of number uh, letters. Yes. So there we have A, B, C, then it's F. So D is somewhere around here. Uh, this one is D here. The Bible again at the miscellaneous. J. Um, don't know why. Don't think I have it. Yeah, let's make a new pile. You come from? What do I do with foreign authors? It's so difficult to know which is the last name. I'll put it at M so it'll be easier for me to look. But I will Google at some point which one is the last name because things work differently out there. So this is an M. I say here. This one as well. Yeah, same author. It's easy. 
shelf number three. S. Also, I didn't mention it, but so far, again, the H is in top order, like with the second shelf finished. And then I say L and M are on the second. Loving you. This is sitting very precautiously. I don't want them to fall. Let's hope for the best. No. Paul Smith. If they have two last names, what do I do? I'll just go for the first one, like in McLaroy. So you're going to this love that you give. Now we have the short ones. A. I didn't want to separate them, but I feel like I will separate them. So it's all alphabetical. Though I do having a uh, loves having the small ones on the bookshelf close to each other, because then I can just, you know, if I don't feel like reading a big book, I just go to my small book section and pick one from there. But I will give the alphabet a try, and if I don't like it, I'll just move them again. Like it's really. No Bookshelf. Good job, me. Well, bookshelf. Shelf. Just shelf. Uh, so far, the M is winning with what is this? With H in close second place. Let's go for the third bookshelf. Well, the fourth one. Scrabble, miscellaneous. Then we have these one here. What's wrong? To where'd you? There's a lot of bending going on, and my back is that of a 50 year old, so I should have just cleared my table, but I don't think that far. I clearly don't think that far. Also, Elizabeth George has two first names one female and the second one male, which is just strange. Not judging, but I do think it's strange. The fourth shelf is done and M is still dominating. Um, there's quite a few of, what is this? L, H, S close by. And there are quite a few of C's and that's pretty much it. I don't know why M is just so large, you know? Um, how am I gonna do this? I didn't think about this. Um, I really didn't think about this because I initially I put those books in here as like I'm hidden. But initially I put those these books here because they're on the bigger side, so that all the weight wouldn't be on top, it would be on the bottom and support the bookshelf better. Who are you reading? Defoe. This is a D, but this is a red book, and I'm going to keep the red books down anyway, so. Let me sort the books and then I'll see how I rearrange everything, okay? M, whoa, R, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, so I'm now going to rearrange those ones, the large ones, because this is kind of the only shelf that fits and also those are mostly like hobby or or books I've already read like none of those I haven't read yet uh, and these these are the books that I've already read and I don't feel like putting them alphabetically yet I feel like I will keep these separated by the months in which I read them so all the January books uh, together all the February and so on so like um, as I read from the top, I'll just move it to the bottom. And then once I've read all this bookshelf, if I do it, I pray to God that I do, I'll see how I'll arrange them then. But for now, I'll keep them in the way that I read them. So that makes the more sense to me. Okay, let's arrange the books. There's a lot of them on the floor, as you can see here. Let me put this down and pray that it stays in the way it was. 
because I just had to mess with my phone. Okay. Okay, so I did Google the alphabet because I cannot be trusted. I will forget a letter. Don't know which one, but I will. So I have it there. And let's start from A and just make our way to Z. Though I do not have, well, yeah, I don't, I don't have any Z authors. So the A is a very short category of just three books. Let's go. Do I also arrange these by category? Yeah, let's do that. B is five books. C is quite the category. Pray I don't drop this. Uh, D is over here. For D, I also have only three books. E, we have three books. F, we have three books. G, five. This is so perfect. The G fit and there's no more space afterwards. So I don't have to separate any letter. I'm so happy about that. Like, look how pretty, except this one, which kind of sticks out, but so pretty. And this was the first shelf, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So good. Okay, the next one is H. And there are a lot of H books, as you can see, a lot of them. Let's organize them somehow. Okay, so this one doesn't fit. It's just too large for this shelf. So I'm going to put it at the bottom and just whenever I'm looking for it, I'll know that this is an H. Because it obviously, I can't push it in. Let me organize these. Next is I, and I don't think I have any author whose last name starts with I. No, none of them. So we'll just go to J. With only one, that one being Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow. Okay. J. Then we'll go for K. K, I have five books. This one will go to the bottom as well, because it doesn't fit. Next we have L, another quite large category. This one is W, I don't know why it's here. Okay. Then we have, please don't hold on me. M, oh wow. Now we have M and I will have to split it because I have only a little space left on this shelf and there are a lot of books in the M category, as you can see. So let me see if this one fits first. These are quite large books. Oh, they do. Okay. Um, okay, let me... This is MA. Other MAs. Okay, so the, the second shelf is done. And the third one begin. So on the third shelf we have uh, H, J, K, uh, then we have L and M. And M is going to the third as well. Then we'll have the N which are here. Again, pretty big books. As you can see, they're the thick boys. So yeah, I think they should fit. Let's try this. Yep, they all fit, which is great. Uh, then we have O. I don't think I have any O's. No. So we'll go to P. Uh, by P we have four. Uh, then we have Q, which we have nothing. Uh, then we have R. We have these ones here. R book. This is the S, so let me see just how I'll arrange it. Next we have T with three books. Then we have U, which we have none. 
uh, then Z with only one, put it here. And then W, we have one, two, three, four, five W's. Say to me. That's the whole alphabet. It ends in W, but I also have quite a lot of miscellaneous, miscellaneous books. As you can see, these are books that are either short stories, so they have multiple authors, or the Bible, which frankly I don't know under what letter I would put, or the Scrabble book, this is thesaurus, that word would be the end of me, and some books which I do not know the author of. So I'll just arrange them by size. Yeah, I'll do that. What's wrong? The way all right, so now all of my books are arranged alphabetically. As you can see, there's a lot more space, but it's because before they were kind of stylized. So I do plan on doing that again. Um, let's do it with this book. Since it's a bit thicker, I'll just put it like this. Or do I do it to delimitate? Um, yeah, I'll still do it with this book. I'll just, so this is a C. Where does the D begin? Uh, C, okay, so the D starts here, so I'll just put it like this, and then I'll move the books kind of lower, if that makes sense, so it doesn't feel as crowded, and just gives more of a library feel, you know, when you go to a really nice bookshop, and they have all the books displayed really prettily. That's how I want to do it here. So, Come from. okay, so that was it. Look how pretty they are. Now everything's just kind of more aesthetically pleasing. It is uh, alphabetically ordered. It's just so much easier to look for. And let me put my knickknacks on the bookshelf as well. And then we'll be done. Also, I forgot about these two comic books that I'll probably read them today or these days so i won't even bother putting them there i'll just read them and then automatically put them in the red category so um here are my knickknacks this is the to be red jar this is the already red jar look how nice i want this to be as filled as this one and this one to be empty uh so this one we'll put here this one we'll put here um i also have this jar this is my memory jar every time something good happens or something that made me happy happens i'll write it on a note and then put it here i started it in january and i haven't really gone out that much so there are only three things in here but at the end of the year i'm super excited to see all the messages and just all of the things that made me happy throughout the year and i'll put this here yeah yeah and then i have my lego i have my little um as you can see it's a noodle shop it also closes and becomes one uh but i like to keep it open so it seems like the, there are two establishments and it also has all this detail inside how cool is that? My sister gave it to me for Christmas and it's such a nice thing. Like I'll put this mm, here. Yep. And then there were three little figures here. There was another one. I have the little boy that works there, the delivery bicycle. And there was also the sh uh, shop sign but i cannot find oh it's here and the little shop sign can you see that nope yeah how cute let me put it here so he's advertising it the little bicycle and the shopkeeper and then the last thing is this little one i don't know its name completely forgot it's from miraculous series uh, my sister got me one of those blind packs and this is what was in there but he's cute so i like him put him here or do i put it on top of something 
Yeah, I'll put it in here. Yeah. So that was it. That was me organizing my bookshelf. I'm so happy with it now because before it was just a mess. So it's so pretty now. Yes. Um, thank you for watching. I mean, I really hope this is under 10 minutes because I've just gone insane in the last time and just, I can't, I can't edit 40 minutes videos anymore, uh, for the moment. So this was the bookshelf. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, tell me everything that, I don't know, you want to tell me and bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.